Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the second section of the zero downtime migration presentation. In this section, we'll go into details about zero downtime migration. Before we start, let's look at a few acronyms that we'll be using throughout this presentation. ZDM stands for zero downtime migration. OCIC stands for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Classic. OCI stands for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. XRCS stands for Exadata Cloud Service. XRCC stands for Exadata Cloud at Customer. OSS or Object Store stands for Object Storage Service. And finally, MAA stands for Maximum Availability Architecture. ZDM gives you a quick and simple way to move on-premises databases and OCIC instances to OCI, XRCS, and XRCC without incurring any significant downtime by leveraging technologies such as Oracle Active Data Guard. ZDM is compliant with and leverages Oracle maximum availability architecture best practices. ZDM supports two variants of migration. First one is the online migration in which no downtime is required to migrate a database. Second one is the offline migration, which uses a backup and recovery approach. This requires downtime to migrate the database and does not need SQL net connectivity between source and target. This approach will be useful in case customer does not want to set up SQL net connectivity between source and target database servers for any security reasons. ZDM supports enterprise and standard edition Oracle databases as source databases for migration. ZDM uses data guard and ensures that the SCNs are synchronized before switching over, thus ensuring all data is migrated without any data loss. ZDM follows all cloud security policies and the best part is this solution does not need a license. You have to look at some of the high level capabilities of ZDM and we'll go into details later on in the presentation. ZDM is simple, comprehensive and enables fleet scale migration. It has a single button approach. It is compliant with Oracle MAA best practices. It has extensive pre-checks, which means you can run pre-checks for migration tasks to prevent errors during database migration. It has pause and resume functionality to pause and resume a migration job if needed which is useful if you have to conform to a maintenance window. It has job rerun ability, such that any failure during a phase can be corrected and resumed from the point of failure. ZDM migration flow is highly modularized, which means each step is executed as a phase. Hence, it has a customizable workflow. For each phase, we can define pre and post user actions. For example, let's say after the source database full backup is completed, if a user wants to run some script, that script can be associated with the phase that does the source database full backup. It is centralized, which means you can perform and manage database migrations on multiple environments at a fleet level using just one ZDM service host. Schedule operations enable you to schedule your migration job to run at a future point in time. ZDM has a jobs framework where ZDM operations are executed as a job. A job ID gets created when a ZDM operation is submitted. It has audit capability such that all user actions are audited, including actions performed by the migration job itself. And finally, you can initiate multiple migrations in parallel. Let's look at the supported source and target database platforms. Supported source and target database versions are 11.204, 12.102, 12.201, 18C, 19C, and later releases. Source and target databases must be on the same database version and the target database can be at a higher patch level than the source database. Supported platforms for both source and target databases is Linux. Now let's look at the ZDM workflow. Firstly, set up ZDM software on a standalone server and this service or this server is referred to as a ZDM service host. Next, ZDM service host connects to source and target database servers using SSH to perform migration operations. Source database can either be on OCIC or an on-premise database. Target platform can be either OCI, XRCS, or XRCC. ZDM service host connects to source database server and performs a backup of the source database onto the object store. This includes full backup as well as incremental backups. ZDM supports various backup mediums, but in this workflow, we are going to take the example of object store as a backup medium.
ZDM service source connects to the target database server and instantiates the standby database on the target from object store source backup. This is done with DataGuard maximum performance protection mode and asynchronous redo transport mode. After standby database is set up on the target server, SQL net connectivity is established between the source and target and synchronization between the primary and standby starts. Once the synchronization between the source and target database is complete, ZDM does a switch over and swaps the role of the target database to be the new primary database. If there is SQL net connectivity between the new primary and the new standby after the switch over, the configuration continues to synchronize data from the new primary. If there is no SQL net connectivity, no synchronization of data takes place. User decides when to stop this process in case fallback is required. This is a summary slide of the entire workflow. In short, you download and install ZDM on a standalone server. That server connects to the source and target database servers. It connects to the object store and does a backup of the source database onto the object store. It instantiates the standby on the target using this backup from the object store. It synchronizes the primary and the standby. Once the synchronization is complete, it switches over and changes the role of the target to be the new primary. And finally, the user decides when to stop this process. Let's look at the supported database architectures and the backup mediums. If you have a single instance database as a source, it can be migrated as either a single instance or an Oracle Rack database. If you have Oracle Rack one node database as a source, it can be migrated as an Oracle Rack database. And finally, if you have an Oracle Rack database as a source, it can be migrated as an Oracle Rack database. The supported backup mediums are OSS, Zero Data Loss Recovery Appliance, also known as ZDLRA, and an external backup location such as NFS. Note that backup mediums such as ZDLRA and NFS are only supported when you have XRCC as a target. For migrating on-premises or OCI database, OCIC database to either OCI or XRCS, the supported backup medium is object store. For migrating on-premises or OCIC database to XRCS, supported backup mediums are OSS, ZDLRA, and an external backup location such as NFS. Thank you.